Welcome to the unofficial start of summer, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe that, what, three days ago it was 92 degrees? Uh, yeah, I'm missing it. Definitely missing it. Today, what, it's like 43, maybe 44 tops? Yeah, just got the pool ready at the house and it's... Can't even use it. It'll freeze over. <laughs> Check out behind you, Jim. This house right here, we have permission for the entire yard around. Um, it's one of the oldest houses in town, and the owners are telling us that there's a little bit of a debate with the town. They're saying it was built in the 1820s. Some of the research the landowners have done dated back as far as 1790s. So, a little bit of a difference there. Um, could mean some good things for us. Possibly a lot of stuff in the ground for me and Jim to find today. So, we're going to get to it before Mother Nature wants to throw us another curveball and We'll see you guys at the first target. So I forgot to film it for you guys. My first target came from there. Um, it was just a piece of, it had uh, like chrome plated something or other it came from there um i did notice there's a ton of ash in the ground right in this section here jim is on this side over here where we're not sure if there was a barn or or something there um according to the landowners so he decided just to try there i'm trying this side yard here and uh, i started talking to the landowner actually when that happened so i didn't film it but very next target close to the first target I believe that to just be melted aluminum. Thought it was lead at first, but it's pretty uh, firm, and as you can see, it just snapped. So nothing great, but things are in the ground, and the metal detector's working. What do you need? Need some water. Are you kidding me? No, <laughs> I, I don't know if it's uh, if it's what I think it is. It's a bucket lister for me. Really? First hole I've dug. This is your first, first target I found. I first target all, of the day? I went all the way through here. First target I had that I like to dig. It's it's small. Real small. Is it a you Oh you have it in your hand. It almost looks Spanish. But I'm not a hundred percent. That's Spanish all day, buddy. I is think it, I can't tell if it, it doesn't look like a button, but I it's hang on, let me get the water. Hold funky. on. <laughs> I, I just feel like it's not what I think it is, but I Can you rub that? That looks that looks like it could be a Spanish something, Jim. Did it read up like silver? What is that thing? Yeah, you know, 23, 22. What in the world is it? I don't it? know. It's pretty beat it's up. It's beat up. It's pretty worn, but there's Are you kidding me? I don't know what that is. It Here, is hold on to the water for a second. Let me see. Definitely. <laughs> oh, that's it's heavy too, Jim. It's uh, really. Old. Yeah, there's it's, it is. It's a it's a half real. No kidding. That's the first I've ever found one. It's Car it's it? it's Carlos. It's the third. I can see it right there. Oh it's like the, it's like the the one real that I found. It's just this is a half real, buddy. I've only found a two real. Those are two, yeah, that's the two pillars and everything on there. There you go. That's your first target. <laughs> first target. I oh hope I didn't spoil oh, it. Oh, that stinks that it's all beat up like that. But yeah, that's absolutely what that is, buddy. Look how through all this area. Pretty slow. All iron. Trying to, you know. Yeah, look at it. You can see the pillars. The things that we were looking at were pillars. And on the front, you can see Carlos III. Did you get a date? I didn't see the date. It's under dirt, and I'm not going to rub that. I'll let you decide how you're going to handle that. I but think I can see it. Wow. Buddy, good job right here, buddy. Real. Boom. <laughs> Getting back to reality. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. Jim's over there saying he thinks that's a good sign, so what do you guys think? Good sign? I think so. <laughs> I'm getting away from that section in there. There's... I, I can't even take a swing without picking up old aluminum, lead, iron parts, and there is a ton of ash. So I've worked my way closer over this way. Jim's been working this back section and picking up a couple of things. Nothing great, but 
I do have my first real relic of the day. It's an old iron horse tack buckle. Looks like a horse tack buckle. I don't think there's anything special to it, but it's a relic. I'm on the board. Okay, so we've been really pounding this yard. Um, we're trying to dig all the high tones, obviously, um, the mid tones, things like that, but there's so much junk metal in this yard. That's the only problem with digging around these older houses that are still being lived in. Um, you're gonna find trash from back 200 years all the way up to present. And if you guys look over here, it's exactly what I'm finding. I mean, I you guys saw me dig that iron buckle and you know that button up top there, but it's kind of scary to be digging rifle casings out of the yard, but maybe at one point there really wasn't a lot of houses around, but in the area that we're in, there's a whole line of old houses. So things have been here a while and uh, we're gonna get over to the side yard adjacent to the front yard. We're gonna swing through here. We're really gonna slow it down in here. I know Jim is already out here. He's not picking up a lot of targets, it's, which I think might be a good thing because you're not picking up a lot of targets. That means there's not a lot of trash and hopefully whatever targets you do find are something worthy of digging. Um, only one way to find out though, so we'll get back at it. See you at the first target out here. Are you marking a target there or are you just coming over? I'm coming. Let's see, let's let's see how good you are. I know you've seen these before. You ready? Okay. Hold out your hand. Oh yeah! I'm telling you, I like this front. You know what this is? Oh yeah. What is that? Buggy brake. Well they call it, a lot of people call them buggy brakes, but I think they're considered like a buggy shaft tip or something it's what they would use to park the vehicles and not actually pull a handle and put the brake on and you guys can see the wear right there from where it would hit the ground i haven't found one of these in a very long time and it actually still has wood inside of that so it's right. old and it's from it's from this house and the landowners will probably be happy to see that huh like i said i was getting really good vibes in here yeah we've been hitting up there and we're almost wondering if they've redone a septic or something up there because we're just getting modern trash through there. There's nothing. But the weird thing is, is where all these little uh, flower beds are, there's bricks and pottery and all kinds of junk in there. And there's actually a little pile over there of little buckles and stuff that the landowners have pulled out over time. But hey, awesome. we're on a relic and we still have some land to go. Jimmy's digging away right there. Uh, I just dug something. What do you got? Oh, it's part of a lantern. Yeah, a lantern top. Well, I'll get over there in a minute to look at that. I just want to show these guys this thing that I just pulled out of the ground. And I didn't think it was anything great at first. When it's got a big old sunflower on the front, I believe that's a sunflower. It looks like a, I'm guessing it's a window latch. I'm not sure. I mean, the, the size of that, I don't think that would have went on a door. Maybe it went on a door, but clearly there was a latch that would lock in place there to keep it from swinging back and forth. But just like many places I go with Jim, it takes all day to get on those relics, but once we do, they start popping out of the ground. So I'll put this away and let's go check out Jim's lantern piece. It is. I, 
wasn't expecting that. It was nice coin tone, but. You said it was really shallow. The last couple of targets that I dug were really shallow too, yeah, so. Probably an inch and a half, two inches. Interesting. But it's got the dial on it. Yeah, you might be able to get a patent date if you clean that dial up. It actually looks like there might be something on there. Well, we got we got some old stuff dumped around out here on this side yard. Nice, re nice little relic patch is what we got here. <laughs> That's not but. usually they're a lot bigger. That's a small lantern. Yeah, might little handheld cool. lantern that they'd carry around instead of having a flashlight out here. I don't think I've found one that small before. Well, there you go. I'll let you clean it up. Nice little kerosene or yeah, slash whale to... oil lamp part. There you go, buddy. It only took all day to start finding <laughs> stuff. Relics are pouring out of the ground now. Not the fantastic kind, but the old kind. It's an old horse tech debuckle. Go on a harness or something. Maybe it went on a saddlebag, I don't know. Very cool. Hey Jim. I've got silver. Right. It's not a coin though. Yeah. <laughs> come yeah, come on over. See it? Ooh, thimble. It is a thimble. That's my it's not, it's not all is it crushed or not? Nope. It's crushed, but it's all there. That's oh, my that's second silver thimble that I've ever found. The other one that I have, it's missing the dome. That's nice. And the crazy part is, so when I was digging it right down here, I picked up the plug and it was underneath this root right here so I stuck the shovel in and I pulled it that way and I moved the shovel back and I lost the tone in here so I took the pinpointer back and it was actually sitting oh no right there when I found it gleaming back at me let's see if there's any initials you might be able to fix that yeah I've never I've never found a complete silver wow. yep there's there's maker's marks or something on there. I can that's see a it. Size one. It says, oh, that's what that is. Is that? It's a. It says ten. So maybe that's yeah, the size. Yeah, looks like a man size. So I did some field work to this. I'll take it home and clear or uh, shape it a little bit better. I just wanted to clean it out, see if there's any markings or anything in there. Um, there are markings on the outside, but uh, that's a fairly large thimble right there. And like I said, it's my second silver thimble ever. Completely intact, though, this one is, except for that little hole there. That's my find of the day right there. What are you moaning about over here? Do you have something good? You saw I found lead over the here. Yep. And then you saw the sickle psi cap. Well, I saw that. I didn't show it to the viewers because we didn't really, we weren't really sure, but yeah. Oh, you do have a copper coin. Are you kidding? <laughs> we knew it had to be somewhere out here. Do you know what it is? I don't know. I, it rang up like a large scent, but... Can I see it real quick? It's not showing its face too easy. Ooh, and I'm not going to rub it at all because that's... I don't know if it's just worn or just because it needs to dry out. I mean, it feels thick like a largey. It rang up like a 26, 25, so it didn't ring up like a British. Interesting. So there's Jimmy's Copper. We've made several guesses at what this is, but I don't want to give you guys false information. Uh, I don't know. Camera's not really going to show us any good detail any more than what we can see, but Jimmy got his copper for the day. You got your old real to start the day and hopefully that's not the end of it but good job buddy thank you man happy <laughs> i love these old houses up here in new england and the landowners have been super super kind they've come out a couple of times checked our stuff and very interested in what we're finding jim and i are running out of real estate he's still over there where he found that copper I actually found the thimble right in that corner there, but we're going to start working our way through here. And uh, like I said, we're running out of real estate. We're going to call it a day here very shortly, but hopefully with everything the way it's going over here, perhaps there's something I'm walking over right now. We'll get back to it and we'll try to finish the day strong for you.
I'm finally on the board with a coin right there. Look at this buffalo nickel. <laughs> no. Oh, I went right over that. I heard that. Look at that thing, buddy. I, I don't want to rub it because it's it's wet and I don't want to ruin it, but I thought it was going to be foreign or something because I didn't I couldn't tell that was a buffalo. Nice. Let me uh, let me get a toothbrush to this and I'll show you guys a close up. I've dug some beauties in the past, but that one right there by far is the best looking one I've seen in a while. I almost can see a date down there. But there we go. It's not an old coin like Jim's coins, but it's an older coin and I am absolutely not complaining about today. It has totally turned around for us and the relics continue to pop out of the ground. You got a V nickel? Yeah. Are you so kidding? I'm going to start digging those mid-tones now that I left that buffalo over there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where is it at? Yeah. Can I pick it up? Yep. Well, here's what I got. I just dug that. I did a live dig. It turned out to be a stinking link, and then my next target was a wheat scent. That's cool. Too bad that wasn't a $4 million V nickel. <laughs> the 1913s. Oh, that I think there's only like five. I think it's either five or six that are in existence. I think it's the same year as the one I found in North Carolina. So there we go. There's Jim's V nickel. You got Liberty looking to the left there. 1911 on the bottom. And there's the V. Roman numeral for five. And there's my wheat scent. 1953. Good job, Jimmy. I'm going to take my wheat scent. You can take your V-nickel. And... So we got a buffalo and a V. So what do we need for the trifecta? What's the other one? <laughs> oh, a shield nickel. Shield nickel. Shield nickel would be nice. Yeah, we have the trifecta. <laughs> yeah, we could. But unfortunately, we're going to have to get going here soon. So you better hurry. No problem. <laughs> you got something that duplicates <laughs> what I found? I think so. I don't yeah, it looks awful familiar. Let's see. Oh, it is. Wow, yours is a lot better shape than mine was. I, I don't. Do you think that's a window latch? I think it's a window latch or some some kind of. Yeah, I mean we're close to the windows. That's why I guess window latch. Or yeah. Shutter. It might have had shutters on this. Probably had shutters on this house. Yeah. Indian shutters, maybe. They, I don't know. Well, I hate to break the news to you, but don't say it. I think Don't we need to get it. going here shortly, Jim. We're running out of time, and we told the landowners we'd be out of here by a by a decent time, decent hour. So, have you got your fill today? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, how about we uh, we wrap it up here? We go let the landowner know what we have. Um, we shown. I mean, we've already showed them a couple of things as they came out, but let's go show them the whole kit and caboodle. And why don't we say we show these guys a roundup and get on out of here? Stay ever. Absolutely. Good job, buddy. Thank you. So I know we don't always show a wrap-up, but because the landowners are welcome to have whatever they want, um, they have shown some interest in some stuff, and like I said, they're welcome to have it. Thankfully, though, they told Jim that he can keep his half real. It's a bucket lister item, and they're happy that he found it. It's a little beat up, but he's happy, and that's all that matters. So we do have the stuff laid out. I'll show you guys real quick, and then we're going to get on out of here. So here it all is for today. Of course trash that trash is going to go in a bag in the back of my truck and we're going to get rid of it but we're showing the landowners we wanted to do a nice little presentation for them when they come out and see all the stuff that we found a bunch of clad um i ended up not with a lot of clad i only got a quarter and a penny jim got the rest um we got the two window latches there i got a couple of buckles jim got a couple of buckles i pulled out that beautiful buffalo head nickel and a wheat scent uh, I got the, the shaft tip to a buggy. Um, again, a lot of people call these a buggy brake. Of course, I got my pride and joy of the day, my old silver thimble. It's the first one fully intact for me. Jim got a couple of oil lamp pieces. Um, he ended up with a 1911 V-nickel. He's got that half real that you guys saw. First target for Jim of the day and his bucket lister and an unidentified copper. But all in all, it really wasn't a bad day and that's some pretty cool stuff to come out of the ground here at this house that debatably is from the late 1700s to the early 1800s. 
Well, that's going to do it for me and Jim here today on this awesome piece of property. We're going to have the landowners come out. They're going to look through all the stuff and then we're going to be on our way, but not without a thank you to them. And the best part about today is not only the relics and the fun that we had, but because of the respect that Jim and I showed this land and the landowners came out a couple of times to see how we were doing, they're also going to be talking to their neighbors. If we can get on to some of these other places around town, that's going to be very good. What do you think? Very, very good. But until that time, we've had a great day. I know you've had a great day, right? Awesome. Day. You've had an epic day. Got a bucket lister and everything, buddy. Best day ever. Best day ever. So we'll see you guys on a future episode. But until that time, happy hunting. <laughs>